What's up guys, Rising M Disc Golf here and we're back for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the uh, VIPX Chameleon Moonshine Nico Castro Anvil. Let's go. So guys, like you heard, this is going to be a review on the Nicola Castro VIPX Chameleon Moonshine Anvil. This was the version 4 team series uh, for Nicola Castro of Team Westside Discs. And he switched from the Fortress, which is his other um, VIPX disc for the other three versions, to the Anvil, a personal favorite of mine. So I was super stoked to see these be produced. Like the other version 4 discs, these have a super cool um, stamp on them with the player in a Halloween um, themed um, kind of style, but unlike the other ones that are zombies, Nicola Castro is a vampire, which I think is quite fitting. Uh, some people don't like these stamps. I don't mind them. I think it looks cool, but the most important thing is how does this thing fly? First of all, I have been a fan of the Special Edition Anvil and the BT Hybrid Anvil because of how flat those are. Now, it is pretty um, uncommon to find a flat stock anvil, so those discs have gotten pretty pricey, so I was super happy to see that these things came out board flat, which feels amazing for forehands. They still feel great for backhands, but I can assure you in this X plastic, especially Chameleon, Moonshine, all that, these things are beefy, like, justice level beefy okay if you don't like the beat of a justice um and you're like man i want to like the anvil but it just wasn't stable enough well look no further because if this thing isn't stable enough you have other problems this thing if i throw it flat it will get to the ground and flare if i throw it with anheuser it'll do everything it can to come out of it and do the same thing this thing is a magnet to the ground. I could not get this past 280 feet on the most powerful like flex line, which is a good thing. I'm not begging a VIPX anvil for distance, right? These are great for control. Um, if you've got a raging headwind, you do not have to worry about this thing thinking about doing anything but finishing left or right if you're forehanding. Um, and this does feel really good for forehand upshots. This is gonna complement my BT hybrid anvil very well well that'll get a little more stick this is sure to get some ground play and uh yeah so if you are wanting a super overstable uh either forehand or backhand uh, mid-range or approach disc that's nice and flat look no further than the vipx chameleon moonshine anvils and these come in pink and this aqua color like i have here and yeah, so I don't know if they have any left on dynamic discs, but they probably do on the Latitude Factory Store or wherever else you get your plastic. So make sure to go support Nico and pick one of these up. All right, so I hope you guys like this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you throw an anvil, if you've tried out one of these new ones and what you think. Uh, personally, I'm hoping Nico sticks with the anvil as his tour series disc next year, but we will have to wait and see. If you guys like this video, make sure to comment down below, leave a like, subscribe, turn those notifications on so you don't miss any of my future videos. Watch some of the videos I have recommended to the side, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.